Okay, Dana, some storms moving through tonight, uh, showers basically, but all eyes are really on Hurricane Lee and what that will mean for Maine's coast later this week. Absolutely. So the showers that we had today have nothing to do with Hurricane Lee. It's from a stationary front that we have situated along the coastline. Hurricane Lee, I'll talk about that in a minute, but that's more going to be something we're going to look at for the weekend. So like I said, we've got a stationary front stationed right along the coast here, and that's been giving us scattered showers and storms throughout the day today. There was some localized flooding, but a lot of more significant flooding occurred to our south and southern New Hampshire and in areas of Massachusetts. We're going to have some more of these showers kind of creep up along the coastline over the next couple of hours, but most of the heavier rain is behind us at this point. Now, last week we did get to see that kind of last taste of summer right now, not so so much high temperatures we got to today got into the mid to upper 70s, especially along the southern coastline. But the farther you got inland only got into the upper 60s today. So we're definitely in more of that kind of fall like feel today. But something that did give us that little taste of summer was our dew points. Earlier today we had some dew points pop up in the 70s. Now they've dropped a little bit to the upper 60s along the coastline, but our temperatures have dropped too. So it still feels pretty sticky out there and we're going to hold on to this humidity for a little while while longer. Current temperatures a little bit above average for this time of year, mainly in the lower 60s, some upper 50s inland, but overall kind of a sticky night on tap for tonight. Now that stationary front is going to move offshore, but another system is going to come in very quickly behind it. So we aren't going to get too much of a break in terms of the rain over the next couple of days. But after this cold front moves through on Wednesday, we'll have a high pressure system move in to give us some more sunshine for later on Thursday and Friday. And this high pressure system will give us a better idea of where Hurricane Lee is going to move towards. So we're going to continue with a couple of showers tonight. As we get into tomorrow, it's going to be mostly cloudy overall a drier day than what we saw today, but still not the nicest day out. And then as we get into Wednesday, we'll start with just some scattered showers. But then as that cold front moves through in the afternoon, that's where we'll have some heavier and more consistent rain moving through Wednesday and early on Thursday. Then high pressure rolls in and we're going to end the day Thursday pretty nice. So here's Hurricane Lee, currently a Category 3 hurricane, and it's expected to weaken as it turns northward here into some cooler water. But overall, we don't know exactly where this storm is going to make landfall, but we do have some things that we're going to know. Definite impacts, high surf and rip currents, no matter where the storm does make landfall. The intensity of rain and wind is going to be highly dependent on the storm location. The exact location of landfall at this point is unknown. It's been trending a little bit to our east towards Nova Scotia, but we'll keep an eye on that over the next couple of days. Rain forecast for today sees 2 to 4 and water at 65. In terms of our 7-day forecast, we got some rain over the next couple of days and we're really going to hold on to that humidity as we get into Wednesday as well, but we'll get a relief from that and the rain as we go into Thursday and Friday and then all eyes are on Hurricane Lee coming up for this weekend. So Zach, it's going to be a busy weekend in the weather office, that's for sure. I was just going to say that. Dana, <laughs> thanks so much.